So it's me again. Welcome back, mates. Good day. So what I want to do now is a little uh, unboxing of a very nice looking 172. Yes, 172. I know Mr. Richard Treadaway dreads the tiny little thing, but yeah, it's a really nice looking little kit that I think everybody should uh have at least one teeny tiny 156 148 or 172 in their collection i have several behind me that i've built and i have several 148s in my stash bandai 148s i have you know that i've yet to build and they are superb kits so anyway let's crack on and have a little looky looky at this little beauty so here we have the Tiger One early production from Vespid Models, I believe they're Chinese. And it says the Lucky Tiger Special Edition. All that means is they've put a um, Chinese decal in there. You don't have to use it, obviously, if you don't want to. But that's all that is. Everything else is as it should be. Uh, there's the side. You can see it's linker length tracks. Nice bit of uh, action going in the turret. You've got all the fans for the engine. You've got a sprue of PE. You've got a full aluminium barrel from front to back. And not only, but also a 3D printed muzzle brake, which is good. Sheet of decals, there's your little mock ups or 3D views or whatever they are. Item number VS72018 from Vespid Models. Now, I've seen these on eBay for 20 odd quid. I got this from AliExpress all the way from China. And it cost me £13, plus maybe three or four pound postage, I can't remember. It got here within two weeks. So I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at the destructions. Same as the box art on the front. The Lucky Tiger Special Edition, which is just, as I said, that Chinese decal which you don't have to use which no one will there's all your sprues quite a few sprues for a little uh, 172 scale so there's plenty of detail there's your link and length tracks as I said all your wheels times two upper deck tow cables etc 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 and uh, there's all your little bits 3d printed muzzle brake full metal barrel so there's step one with your bathtub uh, lower hole already made up so there's no front back sides to put on you can see the detail, it's got torsion bar suspension and uh, all the swing arms for the uh, wheels. All that detail on that um, firewall thingy, whatever that is. You see, I know all the technical terms, don't I? On to number three, we've got some more wheel action, a little bit of engine fan action going on. Will I be able to get these wheels right on this tire? Da, da, da. Some more wheel action. Richard Treadaway, I think you should get this kit, mate. You'd love it. It's a little beauty. There's all your fans. There's a bit more the front uh, spare tracks going on 
nice and clear instructions there's your link and length tracks going on top length bottom length a little bit there length little length there little length there and those are the separate bits there's your um driver and is it is he the is he the loader the one on the other side uh, the hatches you can have them open or closed whatever you fancy now we're on to the upper deck with the p uh, grills the tools the lights etc and down there the uh, sledgehammer the crowbar all that malarkey tow cables barrel cleaning rods and we're on to step 10 you've got the bow uh, machine gun the bow plate going on there's your side skirts and your rear mud flaps mud guards whatever you want to call them some more rear action going on with your jack your toolbox and your towing hasps whatever they're called there's your um, <coughs> exhaust stacks with the armored shrouds your fire falls there at the bottom now we're on to step 14 putting the fire falls on they're on then we move on to the turret a little bit of detail inside not too much unnecessary there's the uh, barrel and the mantlet going on you can see the different options I believe you have got a molded gun plastic molded barrel as well as the aluminium one two little bits of PE down there the uh, gun breech then we're on to putting the lid on the uh, turret with hatches that can be open or closed whatever you desire I have got some 172 uh, figures which I might use with it there's your turret bin there the smoke launchers are they or the s mine launchers that's pe so you might have to do a bit of bending action with that which i hate yeah pe pe straps for the side of that finally you put the turret on and you're all done ready for paint paint option one Schwerer Panzer Company SS Panzer Regiment 2 Das Reich Spring 1943 and the same Das Reich but November 1943 for that one and the same there S33 Das Reich, July 1943, free tone that one, and on the back there's the other stuff that they do, I quite fancy the panther, they got the panther, a couple of different panthers, one with the night vision thing on it, they got a king, a uh, yag tiger, panther F, panther G, couple of leopards down the bottom flat panzer i don't know if this is all that they do but uh some good stuff there comet up the top there comet there again centurion down there really nice little kits they are leopard leopard so that's it quick little look inside best bid models that's the instruction manual ah there's my little 172 figures I bought they're separate 
I bought them off AliExpress, little resin figures. I'll probably paint one and have him standing on the hull. Or maybe he could even go down the commander's turret, I reckon. Look at this Richard Treadaway, mate. Get in there, my son. This is a teeny tiny Tiger One in miniature. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Look at that, look. Torsion bar suspensions all in there. It's absolutely beautiful. There's the upper hole. Everything's there that should be. Very nice. So if you open this, you can see I haven't touched it, apart from just looking at the screws. Here we've got, I think that's one of the bulkheads inside. There's your tow cables, very, very fine. Beautifully moulded, I can't see any flash. That's the two rear mud guards there. Part of the gun breech there, I believe. Now let's have a look at the wheels. And the jolly old Lincoln length track. Two sprues, so we'll just have a look at one. No need to double up on them. There's your tracks. Lincoln length, like I said. Top and bottom. There's the back side. Backside, ooh, Mutron, sound like a carry on film then. Wheels, nicely detailed with the bolts, the bolt heads. Very nice detail there. All oh, looks like it should do. I'm sure someone will put me straight. Hey ho. Here we go. There's your little mantlet. Some hatches there. The shovel, look at that tiny little thing. There's your five fours, two pieces for each one. There's the top of the turret. Beautiful moulding, it's so crisp. There's the rear plate. That's where all your jack and toolbox and all that will go. Some more fire action going on there. I guess you've got two types. There's your plastic all-in-one barrel. If that's what you want to use that's all in one no gluing necessary there's your side skirts again nicely detailed a little tiny shovel there and a little even tinier wire cutters bolt cutters whatever they are Barrel cleaning rods. Top of the turret bin there, I think. Wow, some small bits. 
last couple of sprues. We've got sprockets, idlers, some more tracks. Um, maybe that's for the spare track. There's your little fan vents for the engine. Tiny little beautiful detail on it. Another little bit of link, link and length there. I think that's what goes on the front for the spare tracks. There's your shroud for the exhaust. Get it on the other side. Oh, look at the little tiny. Whoa, they're so small. There's a grab handle there. Look, you know, that ain't gonna stay in one piece. Is that a couple of shells? I think it might be, you know. <laughs> That's exactly the same, that. that's what I've just showed you. Here we've got the barrel, uh, the turret, the turret bin, and the cupola, all nice and separate. Oh, we're going to have hours of fun putting this together. There's your turret bin. Got the clasps and everything moulded on there like it should do. There's your turret. Everything's there that should be. Is that an escape hatch or is it? I don't know. Maybe. Now we come to the aluminium barrel the PE and the decals and the printed 3d printed muzzle brake so there's your PE really nice fine etched brass Tiger one early production not much there but Still a nice little bit. And decals. Not bad at all. And there's your teeny tiny 3D printed muzzle brake. Beautiful detail on that really nice and there's the two pieces for your um, gun your barrel really nice this is going to build up to a cracking little model easy peasy mate so there's a quick look inside the box if anyone's got any, oh, be quiet, children. What do you think this is, the 21st century? If anyone's got any experience with these kits, good or bad, put it down in the comments and let me know, because I'm interested, genuinely interested, because I think it's a beautiful little thing. And I think Mr. Richard Treadaway would love it. It might drive him around the twist because it's so small. But I think he would love it. There you go. Quick look inside the box. Vespid models. Tiger one, early production. Don't worry about the Lucky Tiger Special Edition. You don't want... Well, I don't want those decals on. And that's it. It's going to look good, boys and girls. Take it easy and model on, my friends.